Yes, people. So welcome once again to Talk Your Talk. This video video will be a little bit brief. I'm hoping so. Um, let's see what's up. Now, what I'm gonna talk about is reparation. Reparation for we. Now, I think most of us know what is <laughs> reparation. Okay. Now, we as a people. That is, we the the black people right that had been in slavery for quite a number of years we think that um, we should get reparations slavery reparations you have to remember that we have been working for that system for years and years, generation after generations, hundreds of years, with no pay. So, it is only fair that now that they recognize that, um, well, they always knew it was wrong, but now they're admitting that it was a terrible thing they do, that we get our reparation. Now, why we should get our rep reparation? Because, obviously, we work we work for it our people our ancestors work for it and because our ancestors work for all these years without no pay that affecting our people even today so let me tell you some things the people who call themselves jews we know they are not the true chosen chosen people of the most right? but these people wasn't a little problem with um hitler politically i think created by themselves okay for political reasons but there wasn't a little problem for a few years maybe three four years a few of them get killed they say over they lied and say over six million of them get killed but anyway they got paid after hitler was destroyed they got reparation all the uh, property that was taken from them the people that was killed those people get paid for the losses and up to this blessed day they are still getting paid you understand so and that was just about four years or something to that of that nature anyway when it was when um the japanese attacked pearl harbor i think that was in 1941 i think if i'm wrong correct me now what happened in america is that they rounded up all japanese and they put them in concentration camps in other words they put them in camps where they could be concentrated because um they didn't trust them or they didn't trust their loyalty or whatever it is so they did them an, an injustice based on how they look at it after and what happened after the war and everything settled they get reparation they get paid you understand they got paid the Indian people who they killed out and they killed a whole lot of Indians and whatever they did. After when things settled down with them, what did they get? They get lands and reparation. Uh, they get their reparation too. I mean, they get their reservations and everything else where they could live. Maybe they didn't like it, but they got it. We who was in slavery for over 300 years, working as slaves. Up to now we don't get anything they promised us yes they promised us they promised us um at least the people in america the slaves in america they promised that they will give them 40 acres and a mule okay i don't know what they promised us here in the caribbean i don't think they promised us anything but for those people they promised them lands and mule so they could start their lives Anyway, nobody got anything. So after we come from slavery, we were still living as slaves to those people. You understand? Okay? And that's the absolute truth. So up to now, people still working, are trying, are talking about reparation. They want reparation. We want our grandfather back pay. Basically. You understand? That is what they want right so that is just the foundation of it basically and that is the truth there is no big set of i mean science in that 
basically they're not paying us they don't give us our monies and stuff like that they still fight us down they still try to stress us and we are the only people that getting paid okay now i will say something again and for the brothers and the sisters who would understand that not bashing any reparation or anything i think we should get paid but let me talk about something now now for those of you who are in the truth for those of you who know the truth of our people for those of you who seek our elohim right for those of you who seek to worship and live by the rules of our elohim okay now if you recall we spent 400 years in egypt in bondage also okay we spent 400 years there under every heavy pro, uh, oppressions and stuff like that and what happened we were freed by our brother moses okay now when we were living in egypt and it's around this time we were living in egypt basically around this season not the same date but the same season and when we were living in egypt we had reparations we went out from Egypt with a lot of gold, a lot of silver, a lot of wealth we left Egypt with. Okay? We left Egypt with a bunch of things. You know? And we traveled to the wilderness. And when we went in the wilderness, with all the gold and wealth we achieved, what did we do? <laughs> you know what we did? We built a golden calf and start worshiping a golden calf that's what we start doing build with all the wealth we got all the gold all the jewels we melt all gold that we have the wealth and we built a golden calf to to um to worship you remember that now look at our situation today look at us now most of us we're not even thinking about our elohim which screaming we want reparation most of us what we're supposed to be doing now is trying to seek our elohim in every way possible and we are not doing that we are the hustle we want our money we want a this we want that that's what we do we don't care if we have to outsmart our own brethren our own sister if we have to rob our own people if we have to destroy our own people, we're looking for money and we're asking for reparation. So you don't think that the most I have a hand in that? If the most I ready to give you reparation, there is nothing this heathens could do, but they just have to give it. But look at yourself. Look at ourselves. Look at what we do to each other. Look at how we live. We're not, uni we're not unified. We're just seeking for ourselves. We're just greedy, greedy running down to grab everything that the heathens have to offer. So why would the Most High give you reparations for the next 400 years? When you're not straightening your way out. No. You see, if he give you, are you get it now? What would you do? Build a next golden calf. Most of you right now, I'm talking to the people that are conscious about what is going on out there with us. Most of us right now, only thing we're studying is material things and wealth. The most I knows that. The most I know that we're supposed to be seeking him in spirit and in truth right now, but we are not doing that. Yet we still don't asking for reparation for the punishment we got for 400 years. Or 300 years and more. You understand? We are asking about that. Okay? I'm not saying that we shouldn't. You understand? Because when we was in um in Egypt, we asked for it. And through the power of our Elohim, we got our reparation. But then when we got our reparation, we still didn't learn. We didn't get it right. We go and we build golden calf. So if right now your mission is struggling to everything is material thing, oppress your brother, you don't have no love. What kind of reparation are you looking to get? To do what? When you get reparation, what would you be building now? A golden elephant? What? You will be going further and further away, away from our Elohim. You will be full of your delusions. You understand? 
and your useless grandeur that is you expressing right now in, in in this world you understand these people will get a judgment you will also get your reward but what why don't you just work for it and how do you work for it you seek our elohim not those people material things he tell you give unto caesar what is caesar didn't you remember he told you that you don't recall that to mind yet that is for caesar and what is his give it unto him he and he will do what he have to do you understand so i'm asking again reparation for we i mean like think about it think about what you did with your reparation when you came from 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 egypt think about it and right now we still are in our bondage looking for our reparation what would we do with it when we get it how would it benefit our people so let's say the people in america decide to give reparation what would happen to the people in the caribbean what would happen to the people who in slavery all different other places what would happen Stop fooling around the most. I know exactly what he is doing. It's as simple as that. The most I will do what he have to do when the time is right. I could do it some reparation right now. Oh yeah. I could do it a bunch of reparation. You know? But then the most I will have to do it in his right time. Because you're not supposed to forget what happened when you came from Egypt the first time. You remember. You were full of reparation that time. Then there goes big golden calf building and worshipping. Give thanks and praises to the Most High or Elohim. Be blessed. I'll see you in another video. But before I go, our Elohim said that while we are here in this bondage, after all the curses, we will recall to mind his laws and his love. How much of us do that so far? Think about it. Be blessed.